What seems like forever ago, we got an announcement for Attack on Titan Unbreakable coming to the Quest platform. And then last year at the Summer Gaming Showcase, we saw a trailer that was a first concept trailer. It didn't show us anything, but teased that it was coming in 2023. Fast forward to the end of the year, and it was delayed until sometime this year, but we haven't heard anything or seen any gameplay. Well, that changes today. We got the first gameplay footage, what you're seeing on screen now, and it actually launches in early access this month. That's right, on July 23rd, Attack on Titan Unbreakable is launching in early access for a measly $4.99. Now, there is a whole graph that shows what that means, what the price is, what you're going to get, and what's coming in the future when it launches the 1.0 version later this year. We'll take a look at that in just a second, but I just want to enjoy watching this gameplay footage. Now, it doesn't look like the concept trailer, which I fully expected. They kind of went with more of like a cell shaded style which works really good on quest i think the mechanics though are what is going to sell this game if you can actually feel like you're using the odm gear easily move around the world i don't know if that easily is the right word it takes some learning even in the show right for aaron and the rest of them to really get used to using odm gear so i'm okay with some learning curve as long as you can get good at it and be able to really flow through the city obviously you're gonna be fighting massive titans there's supposed to be boss battles there's different blade types that you can get and swap out i don't know personally this makes me very excited. Some of this gameplay footage, including the attacking, the movement, the variety of titans, even the dismemberment, it looks really promising. I'm a massive fan of Attack on Titan. The deep story in this series, even though it's a very bloody and uh, adult-oriented story based on the, the graphic violence in it, there isn't really anything else besides the graphic violence in the show that I would say makes it adult. But the story itself is really deep and really compelling, and that's why I like the show. I actually started watching the show based on the fact the game was coming out in figured out that I really enjoyed it. And now that this game is actually finally coming this month, I'm very excited to actually get my hands on it. There's some fan games that are really well done for Attack on Titan. Attack on Quest is really good. Hopefully this one, though, has full voice acting. It has a full story. So let's talk about what you're going to actually get, though, really quickly in Attack on Titan Unbreakable for the pre-release or, or the early access. So you're seeing a roadmap on screen. It says Chapter 1 and 2 Early Access Version. You're going to get the first two chapters for $4.99 in early access access they're also encouraging people to join the discord so that they can talk about the game and give feedback as they're trying to make it the best they can before the regular price update and the 1.0 build there is no specific price or timeline for when it's going to get a full release or the pricing of it but in that release you're going to get the later chapters and the co-op mode release which i'm very much looking forward to co-op and being able to slay some titans with some friends so first, Early Access, Chapters 1 and 2. You're going to also get the 1.0 build of Chapters 1 and 2 when the game fully releases, probably with updates, fixes, maybe even some quest revisual updates if that's not happened in this Early Access version. It's very rare for this actually to happen on Quest. It's possible it's launching an Early Access on App Lab. I don't know. We don't know, really. It doesn't. The, the, early Access doesn't generally happen on the main store. So I would assume App Lab, but it's really hard to say because it was announced for the main store to begin with. So it sounds like there is four total chapters of the story because it says you're going to play the first half. So there's chapters one and two, you get early access to, then three and four must come later, and then a co-op mode release. I hope they also continually update this game and, <clears throat> and bring more and more to it. I hope it's an in-depth story. And I hope that there's some crazy boss battles with some of the epic titans, the bigger titans. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I am personally really excited, so I had to put a video together to tell you because I know I've had a lot of people asking me when it's coming, saying that they don't think it's actually going to happen. So now you know it's happening July 23rd of this month. That's right, this month is coming the Early Access version, and I, for one, am going to be playing it as soon as as humanly possible. What do you think though? What are your thoughts on the gameplay footage? What are your thoughts on the fact that it's coming out this month? The model of releasing early access first and then 
to the full access. I think they're probably doing that because they want to get a whole bunch of testing done in early access to make sure that it's the best it can be. It worries me a tad that the early access is going to be $4.99 because then regular access would potentially be $10, $20 maybe. I'm a little worried that that means the campaign is going to be really short. I hope not, but it does worry me slightly. We'll have to wait and see what kind of replayability this game has and what kind of campaign it actually has. But I still am excited to check it out and be able to enter this world of Attack on Titan in virtual reality. Let me know what you think, though, down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, happy questing.